Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Angelic Soul 11 and I just wanted to do a quick energy forecast for you in regards to like the divine masculine and feminine um, energy. So like Mars and Venus energy, I'm also going to talk a little bit about some of the houses, um, Mercury energy, the full moon and the new moon um, because that's all pretty much about what's going to be um, happening astrologically, okay? So first and foremost, we currently have the sun in Virgo and the moon, the full moon this September 14 will be in Pisces and then the new moon coming up will be September 28 in Libra. All right. So if you have, if you subscribe to my channel, you will see already that I did recently talk about Mars and Venus. Okay. With Virgo energy. However, now I'm, I'm going to be talking about um, Virgo being the sixth house is the house of health and so with Virgo being in the house of health and how that affects the masculine and feminine this is really a time of that like reflection what is healthy and what is not for you etc etc right so being in hermit mode really being reflective of like what your behavior has been like what your thought forms been and stuff like that and moving forward into Libra's energy. Libra rules the seventh house, which is the house of partnership, which brings why I am bringing this video up because I'm so, so, so excited. Okay, and I just really wanted to share this information with you all. Okay, there is going to be a time period where Mars and Venus energy are going to be meeting and linking up in the seventh house in the house of partnerships. Okay, so this is really going to take a big, big toll on relationships, on unions, on divine car counterparts. Okay, but not only the divine counterparts, which I'm going to I'm going to touch bases on that. I'm also going to give you like the characteristics of Mars and Venus being in Libra along with Mercury because Mercury will also be answering Libra energy and how that their characteristics and that energy um, can help you maybe even with your thought processes or your ways of communicating all right so if you see me looking down it's so that I don't get lost and I'm looking at my notes so pretty much Pisces is in the 12th house, um, rule, is ruled by the 12th house, the house of self-undoing, all right? What this is going to do for us this Saturday, um, September 14, with Mercury and Venus coming into Libra, the same night of the full moon, this is going to really allow revelations to come in and matters of the subconscious, bringing things to the consciousness in regards to the behavior patterns that we have portrayed during Virgo season, whether it was for acts of privacy, um, retreating, reflecting, or even the stuff that we um, felt was self-sacrificing, right? So this is the type of energy that will be presented during this full moon with the um, Pisces energy okay on the like shadow side it can kind of make a person be over exaggerate into what they have sacrificed if this is a person that is not in complete harmony with their truth a person who doesn't really live with integrity um, really just doesn't know how to stand in their true form and their true self um, really putting a form of victimizing energies and um, out during that time all right so so right now we have Mars and Virgo that are kind of at a tug of war with each other right um, for the last year we have really had a lot of Mars energy being ahead of Venus energy um, a lot of masculine energy really just fighting with the feminine energy it's really um, having the divine feminine feeling like they're having to catch up to the masculine or feeling like they're not good enough for the masculine feeling like it doesn't matter how much they try to do for the masculine it's just not enough a lot of that energy um, and that's gonna really with this Virgo season created a major shift for the masculine and feminine to really reflect on those types of um, 
behavior, thought patterns, thought forms, and energies to really start moving forward into this Libra energy, okay, so that that balance can come in and really bring about a harmony, okay, so if any of this resonates, this video is definitely for you, okay, because now we're going to be coming to a time where Mars and Venus is going to actually be in the same sign um, and in the house of partnerships with that harmonious balance, right? For that like justice to come in, for harmony to, to um, come in and for the, the skills to be balanced between, you know, being light as a feather, right? The heart and the feather, the mind and the heart, really just being at that balance, right? So, let's see here that's gonna this is gonna be a great time um, before Mars gets into Libra it's gonna be a great time for the divine feminines or for the feminine energies to really step up their approach in regards to knowing that they're good enough knowing that um, they're here that they are a portal that they are here to create balance that they are able to reproduce results um able to really just be kind to themselves and others while still honoring and respecting what it is that they truly value in life and in their relationships right um especially with mercury and venus um coming into libra entering libra the same night of the full moon um that venus and mercury energy working together is really really gonna allow for the divine feminine to speak their truth and what it is that they where it is that they've been maybe hurt or where it is that they've been um like at an imbalance with their integrity um, to really express to the masculine um, what it is that they truly seek and want moving forward okay and the main reason I'm bringing this up as well is we do have Pluto and Saturn that are going to be going direct very soon as well during Libra season and um, they are both in the sign of Capricorn. And we are also going to be ending this year um, with that eclipse in Capricorn right before, um, you know, January coming in. And that eclipse with all this energy is actually going to be creating like a reset of harmony. So this energy is really like it's been going on for quite some time. But with Mars and Venus being entering libra and libra season um but starting off during this full moon is really going to be creating a major major shift to the collective um whether it's in your thought consciousness alone or in your union this is definitely going to be um for unions as well like you know partnerships because it's the house of partnerships and the lovers mercury is the lovers right it's gemini energy um, and so it's really going to be about bringing that harmony into unions, okay, for the collective balance. But this is also um, for you as an individual as well. So if you're single and you're watching this, hey, it's okay. This doesn't mean that you have to be dating or in a relationship to watch this video. Um, you can just listen to the characteristics, um, take the energies for what they are. You don't have to fall in any of these signs to... Um, feel like this video is for you because this is a collective energy that everyone will be affected by okay and so just take the characteristics of this energy so um it's actually gonna be like this full moon is gonna be a great great time for like sex magic or tantra um if you're into that okay especially um october 2nd when which is after both the full moon and the new moon but that is gonna be when mars and venus actually do hit um libra and are in Libra season in the house of partnerships together at the same time with Mercury, right? So that's gonna be like, you know, the feminine, the masculine, and the communication 
all in the house of partnership and and harmony okay which is going to be very very um potent for any tantric energies or um sex magic or anything like that so super super exciting for anybody that's into that or does any energy work um eye gazing meditating with your partner like putting in these practices and with your partner during that time is going to create a major harmonious ripple effect in your life to bring about a perfect love and perfect trust balance okay because things are going to kind of shift after that but before i get to that let me let me continue forward all right so we also have here um the act of love and war right how they say like all is fair and love and war um right now that's really what it's been it's really been kind of like a war the act of the masculine and the feminine almost being in harmony with each other almost being so close and um reun re reuniting with each other or coming to agreements and conclusions and and everything like that like really creating that balance of what it is that they want to build in the future but not necessarily being in the same place emotionally and mentally with each other to actually produce those results right but this this time that we're going to be moving forward is it's actually going to allow the act of war which is action is passion is power strength to really allow us to charge and tackle and defend what it is that we value tackle our goals tackle defend our unions defend what it is that that we value and really build in a more harmonious and trusting way with our lover with that true love and communication to really move forward in life and reap what it is that you sow so planting seeds whether it's seeds in your mind creating a baby creating a, a, a foundation okay because like i said saturn and pluto will be going direct and they are in capricorn so this is gonna affect our foundation okay <laughs> it's really gonna bring about a lot of revelations a lot of harmony a lot of love a lot of trust okay this is gonna be a time of truth are you truly honoring yourself are you truly honoring your partnership your partner your your divine um counterpart are you truly giving them that respect and that the attention that is in harmony with what it is that you guys are trying to build together or if you're single that harmony in which it is that you desire to conquer and receive are you really truly doing the necessary work or are you just talking the talk and not walking the walk this is going to be a time of revelations and truth okay for that balance for that harmony okay so before i am gonna go a little bit back into this okay but um let me let me move into like some of the characteristics here okay um and then i'll get into some of the energy a little bit more so we're, we're gonna start off with mars energy um and mars entering libra even though venus will be entering libra first it's just that's how i wrote down my notes so that's where i'm touching bases on first okay so uh, mars will be entering libra october 2nd okay i'm sorry october 4th october 4th my apologies so Mars and Libra on the shadow side, on the unconscious side, on the side that is of like lower vibrations, lower frequencies, um, can cause you to really um, alienate others by being manipulative with their responses in an aggressive way to create a false harmony. And what, what I mean by that is um, 
on the shadow side that mars masculine energy and again this is just the energy you can be male or female this is not about gender this is about energy so the masculine energy okay um the masculine energy mars energy on the lower frequency on the lower shadow side um will tend to behave in a way that they believe that people would want them to behave so that they can manipulate the situation and reap the rewards that they believe that they should get based on their behaving the way that they felt the person should behave rather than behaving with integrity and truth and righteousness okay and that's actually um, gonna cause a problem, okay? For um, for that energy, you know, they will also try to um, compete with those that are actually in harmony with their divine masculine side. So um, they'll they'll kind of see they'll get intimidated or they'll see it like a challenge of trying to bring um this harmony to the person that is harmonious with their masculine side and they'll do this by trying to like compete with them and then when they see that they're like losing momentum or losing energy because they're at an imbalance they will victimize themselves um to pretty much claim like if they're being treated unfairly um and blame the other person for the disharmony rather than being honest and taking accountability for what it is that they are producing out there um being responsible for what it is that they're they're putting out in, into the world into the universe right so that's gonna leave them out of this um this harmonious um frequency and a lower frequency but on on the positive side on the more higher vibrational conscious side okay um, they'll be interact, um, initiating like social interactions based on honesty and integrity, okay? They'll be active, responsible, and direct um, with perfect love and perfect trust, really being honest, okay? Um, they will be at a place where um, they'll be able to create what it is that they want in relationships and in life. Um, and they're going to be able to use their creative energy to be gaining, okay, gaining results um, by experiencing a, a source of harmony, all right? Otherwise, what they're going to be experiencing, if they're not coming from a place of truth and righteousness and integrity um, and really being manipulative, you will see that they're going to start to lose momentum. They're going to lose um energy okay they're not going to be able to produce the results due to their disharmony so if you find that a person around you or even you yourself have been trying to manifest some things into your life but you've been a little bit manipulative or this person has been a, a little bit manipulative towards other people to kind of get their results okay and they're not coming from a place of of perfect love and perfect trust nine out of ten times that which what they're trying to manifest will not come into fruition and they're gonna be feeling a bit stagnated okay um and that stagnation is gonna show proof that this person is not in harm in harmony with their divine masculine side they can be um in a masculine energy but it doesn't necessarily mean that is of divinity it doesn't necessarily mean that is of truth and righteousness to bring harmony into the collective okay thou they will not be reaping their rewards okay so that's to keep in mind um even again you can be a female um tapping into that masculine energy and so those are the characteristics you want to pay attention to with with the consciousness or the unconscious side okay and now we're gonna get into like libra um venus and libra my apologies so venus and libra on the shadow side is that it can be um the divine feminine energy or let me correct myself i apologize the feminine energy because this is the shadow side not necessarily the divine 
feminine energy but the feminine energies or venus energy i tend to consider mars masculine energy and venus feminine energy so that's how i refer to them okay so venus energy on this shadow side on the lower vibrational side um can have habits of self-defeating um at regardless of what cause just to fit into society right so i wrote self-defeating habits regardless of the cause to fit in social situation thou tend to withhold their opinions and lack of uh, and lack a sense of justice okay they can gain a sense of this harmony by constantly seeking the mercy of others for their approval feelings of self-doubt and worthlessness can create a manipulative foreplay into their reunion into their unions into their relationships bringing about a lot of confusion with themselves and their relationships especially partnerships okay because again we are in the house of part this libra is the house of partnerships okay on the conscious side on the divine feminine side on the more higher frequency of divinity truth and righteousness they'll be willing to lose titles and roles in social situations for the sake of harmony and what i mean by that is like taking the risk of not being known as the kind person anymore for the sake of harmony they will risk being that kind person to create a balance and acting fairly in the situation empowering themselves to a proper balance and pro um, pro honoring that that in their integrity honoring harmony and balance okay um really responding to all situations and proper fairness to the situation regardless of labels or titles or how that may look to other people they're not going to care about other people's opinions they're only going to care about truth and righteousness and balance and harmony okay they're really going to be tapping into the courage to value their the, themselves and their partnerships and relationships by asserting integrity and openly expressing their truth okay creating a form um creating a firm and consistent sense of self-worth in turn creating a more harmonious environment in social gatherings and in their relationships so that is very beautiful okay um with the divine feminine really stepping up to the plate and saying you know what it, i don't care if i'm always known as as a kind person or you know i'm always um doing this for other people that it's no longer fair this imbalance is not serving the collective it's not serving me it's time that i let go of my attachments to that label to that title to that characteristic that persona and behave accordingly have integrity for myself have integrity and and, and uh, worthiness of that your spirit your soul and knowing that you are more knowing that you are divine and really stepping into that power um, for the sake of harmony and balance. And that is really going to be um, what is going to bring that balance um, with the masculine energy, with Mars energy, okay? Because Mars is that action, right? Where Venus is like that, uh, what, like what you honor, what you respect, what it is that you value. So really that love and war aspect, being in balance, right? And then we have Mercury and Libra as well. So I'm going to go into the shadow side of that and then the conscious side. So with Mercury being in Libra, Mercury, as we know, is Gemini, is the twins, right? So that right there, we have the masculine and feminine and perfect unison with each other, okay? We have um communication okay which in the beginning was the word and that's what creates light and movement and power and strength and everything like that so this is going to be a true time of truth and righteousness coming in bringing balance and harmony and genuine conversations in your partnerships in your unions 
with yourself and with others okay so on the shadow side though um mercury and libra on the shadow side can you can end up withholding um honest interactions with people due to indecisions fears um reject um even fears of rejection rejection that is gonna actually can cause you to lose communication with those that you really do love um due to this honesty or due to fears okay you'll start to lose communication your mind will lose balance of perception and integrity okay so that's gonna be on this shadow side it's gonna be a really indecisive um time period where you're not going to you're not going to know how to stand on your own two feet with integrity and know how to express yourself honestly and make the right choices because you are going to be indecisive trying to move how you think the world wants you to move rather than truly being true to your soul to yourself and to to your har harmonious union okay um, to what it is that you value and love that union with anything that it is that you value okay especially when it comes to relationships and when I mean relationships I'm more so speaking about partnerships yes this is going to affect family friends um, and social gatherings absolutely but again because this is partnerships is going to be the partnership within yourself your mind your body your soul and the partnerships it is that you have with a lover okay if you are single again the partnership you have with your mind your body and your soul and then the partnerships that you have with everything else that you value okay on a conscious side um, you're really gonna be concentrating on what needs to be said rather than what you think people want to hear okay you're gonna be contributing more to like justice and truth and balance you're gonna be communicating with a sense of integrity and sharing ideas that bring about harmony all right so now that you have all those characteristics all the shadow side and the conscious sides of each of these energies you can see how moving forward starting September 14 um, with the full moon and Pisces Venus entering Libra that same day Mercury entering Libra that same day a lot of truth is gonna be um, being is gonna be revealed okay either to the feminine or from the feminine energies okay because of that Venus energy wanting to be in that place of integrity um, wanting to really honor what it is that they truly value so again you can be a man and you um will be speaking from a place of perfect love and perfect trust to your feminine or to society um to create that balance and no longer self-sacrificing because pisces likes to self-sacrifice right then moving forward on september 28 we have the new moon in libra with the sun in Libra so lots of lots of lots of powerful powerful um, energy for balance love and order truth and righteousness perfect love perfect trust okay and then we have in October 4th we have um, Mars entering Libra so the masculine is gonna catch up to the feminine during that time to say you know what now I'm gonna put in the action okay now I see what we did wrong I reflected during Virgo season the full moon really gave me a lot of clarity about what it is that you want in, in, in life what it is that I want and honor and value in life and now I'm gonna push forth the effort I'm gonna put in the action to move forward to move accordingly to move with integrity and grace and reap the benefits of those seeds that you have sown okay and then that's gonna last for quite some time and then shortly after we're gonna have venus moving forward into scorpio which is the house of reincarnation okay the eighth house so 
during this period during this full moon and libra season um this full moon and Virgo season leading up to Libra season it's gonna be really important to harmonize your relationships now because that is when a lot of truth is gonna be it's gonna be a time of truth a time of balance and harmony okay but then shortly after um, the feminine is gonna start gaining momentum things are gonna kind of shift where the masculine had a lot of um, energy on his side the last year things are going to kind of shift for the feminine during for the for the other um two months of the year okay she's going to be moving into scorpio energy a very emotional time but a time of psychic um energy of time of um occultisms of secrets being revealed a lot of mystery um oracle energies okay a lot of strong intuition and sexual energy okay um a lot of um rebirth so she, it would be like the re phoenix rising okay she's gonna be experiencing a rebirth doing due to that harmony due to that balance so if um let's say there was a disharmonious balance i mean a disharmonious union going on there during that rebirth she is truly going to end up at a place where she's going to she'll leave the masculine behind she will leave the masculine behind for that harmony and truly learn how to she'll have to go through relearning again how to love herself but she will be doing it okay this is going to be for all divine feminine energies okay for that that venus energy in scorpio okay um but if it's a union of integrity of honesty of harmony it that rebirth is just gonna bring about a strong empowerment that is gonna bring manifestations to flow into you know moving into sagittarius and um december capricorn season and then we're gonna end with this eclipse here okay and during that eclipse that is again when the mask when mars and um venus energy are gonna kind of like catch up with each other again for uh that reset okay so it is a very 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 powerful time right now for balance for love for order um for truth and righteousness okay so if you've been feeling kind of isolated from your partner or just feeling like there's been an imbalance in your life come this full moon there's it's gonna start bringing that balance um things have already with the last eclipses that we had in leo season okay and with virgo season being a time of like reflections for that perfection energy okay um due to health the partnerships the balance the harmony is really gonna is really gonna start tying up those loose ends okay it's really gonna bring in that communication so I hope this video helps you. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And if you feel like this information will help anybody, share. Thank you. Peace.